to game seven of the Celtics and the Heat where Jimmy Butler misses the go ahead three pointer with under 20 seconds left does not drive to the hoop does not play for the tie Celtics hang on to win 196 to advance to the NBA finals and per second spectrum Butler had a 29 percent chance only to make that pull up three with under 20 seconds left entering Sunday he took just 19 pull up threes for the entire season made only six of them attempted a season and high three pull up threes in game seven. Now he had just made one in the first half. Jalen Rose up early joining us. Thank you. Thank what you. Your former dope. teammate here in the house, right? Uh, for your, your time in Phoenix. I see you start doing your thing. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Uh, Jalen, listen, you were there last night. You saw it firsthand. What did you think in the moment when he launched that three? And what have you thought since then? So obviously, Jimmy Butler was terrific. And anytime you have 82 points in the final two games of a series, in particular versus a great defensive team like the Boston Celtics, the way he played in game six and seven, and even playing 48 minutes. But the reason why the Miami Heat got back in the game if you attribute it to football, is that they kept running it. They kept running the ball. And what ended up happening is when Jimmy Butler was in transition, I was saying, take him, take him, take him. And then when he pulled up, I can't lie, it was a buzz kill. Now, if you make that shot, it's historic. And I know the implications of making a big shot for a guy like Jimmy Butler, the way he's played in these playoffs. They were depleted. Tyler Hero wasn't much of a factor because he was injured. Kyle Lowry was just throwing his body around, being a veteran, taking charges, flopping, just doing whatever he could. <laughs> Bam Adebayo was terrific scoring the ball. He actually looked like you a little bit more stat in that game. But for Jimmy Butler, how many times have you seen him drive the ball and get a three-point play? That would have been an option. You have Al Horford on his heels. If you score that and you tie the game, the Boston Celtics get a lot more pressure because they were struggling to score. So I wanted him to try to extend the game, but I know he was fatigued. I know they were shorthanded, and I know he was going for the kill shot, and I'm not necessarily mad at it. Hey, uh, Amari, you've been supportive of his decision yeah. all morning long. Yeah, I think, I think it was a good shot, from my opinion, because obviously, you know, when you're tired, it's, your legs are not as quite there, right? You saw the shot being a little short when he shot it, so you know his legs were fatigued. And it's even harder now when you're going against, you're trying to drive a 6'10 guy who's, you know, double your size as far as weight as well. It's a, it's a tough, it's a tough finish, you know. And, and you want to try to get the game over with. Like, if you make this shot, it's, everyone's happy. The Miami Heat may be going to the finals. But because he missed the shot, now it's like, well, should he shoot that? And let him say, well, a 29% shot, not a good shot to shoot. As a player, you want to try to win that game. Um, so for me, I have no problem with that shot. I think it was a good shot. I mean, my, my it, it could have been legendary, right? But it wasn't yep. because it didn't drop. In fact, it was short. <laughs> so, I, I, I mean, Jalen, does a conventional wisdom say you go for the tie on your home floor? Just think about the reasoning my brother Amari and many people are going to say that he should have took the shot. They're saying that he should have took the shot because he was going for the win. The game wasn't going to be over. That's the right. first thing. The second thing, if he was shooting the ball and he was tired, that means it's a lower percentage shot that he's going to make a long three because he's not a member of the Splash Brothers. That's, That's Jimmy right. Butler. The thing that makes Jimmy Butler great is that he works the game, Hannah. He looks for contact. Mm. He gets to the free throw line. He takes layups. He's a physical player on the perimeter that can get you big-time points. If, and, and here's the last point I want to make. If you tie that game, the Boston Celtics were struggling mighty. Marcus Smart mm -hmm. still doesn't realize that he was open for a reason. Like, he missed, like, their last, what, four or five shots. You see what I'm saying? And so, right. and so now all of a sudden, you look up at the score and you, you have a chance to take the game. Like, the better team won. The more talented team won. Mm. Sure. But Miami had a chance to actually steal the game and steal the series. And another yep. way to do that is if Jimmy Butler finds a way to take a two right there.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.